You've just put the kids to bed. The house is in order. It's quiet and dark. You flick on your favorite RPG lighting and pop on your headphones. Should you play Last Epoch? In this video, we're diving deep into Last Epoch to answer the burning question. Should you play it? We'll explore all the important aspects from a casual gaming dad perspective to help you decide if you should spend your precious time playing this game. Hey everyone, it's Axe, the casual gaming dad, and I just finished playing 150 plus hours of Last Epoch so you don't have to. Or do you? As a casual gaming dad myself, I know the struggle of finding a game that balances complexity with flexibility that can be both engaging and satisfying. So how does Last Epoch stack up? Let's dive in. From a casual gaming dad perspective, I review games by scoring 1. How accessible the game is to casual gamers, 2. How enjoying and engaging the gameplay is, and 3. How much time is required to enjoy the game. I roll that all up onto a matrix of flexibility versus complexity to guide whether or not you should play this game. So let's dive right in. The first thing we'll cover is how accessible Last Epoch is to casual gamers. In terms of accessibility, the first thing to note is that Last Epoch is only available on PC through the Steam Store. The base price of the game is about 35 US dollars, which I thought was great value by the way, but can go as high as about 60 US dollars if you're interested in the perks that go along with purchasing the Ultimate Edition. As a hack and slash loot based action role playing game, I'll go out on a limb here and say that you're probably already a fan of this genre if you're interested in getting into this one which I am and I did, but it's not necessary. It's also worth noting that only partial controller support is available, and in my experience, it wasn't as seamless a transition between keyboard and mouse and controller as I've had in other games. But if you're over these accessibility hurdles and ready to dive into this game, regardless of your experience with ARPGs, I think you'll find Last Epoch easy to learn. This game has some great features for first timers, not least of which is the in-game compendium, which is a button tap and search away from learning plenty of vital game information. Tooltips are plentiful and synergies between skills and abilities are easy to identify and understand. There's also a thriving community on a Last Epoch Discord server, which you can connect with and learn from, official Last Epoch forums, and plenty of third-party resources as well that will put you on a quick path to blasting like a pro. Now let's cover how engaging and enjoyable Last Epoch's gameplay is. First of all, there's a massive variety and depth of gameplay mechanics. Last Epoch offers five base classes, each of which have three possible masteries. All told, this provides more than 120 skill trees for you to explore, as each skill has its own augment tree that you can use to customize your playstyle. This is coupled with powerful passive skills that provide another range of options to craft your class fantasy. Combat felt great to me, as even though some enemy abilities were devastating, they could easily be telegraphed. There was great visibility of visual effects in combat. Beyond that, multiple endgame systems in Last Epoch offer plenty of complexity and flexibility. Starting with the Monolith of Fate system, players chart their path through a web of echoes to increase the stability of a timeline. Once the timeline is stable enough, you can take on a boss to complete the monolith. Completing a monolith rewards a powerful blessing for your character. Once you've completed all of the monoliths, you can choose to empower them, which increases the difficulty by way of corruption and also the rewards. In the empowered monolith system, you can work on increasing the corruption infinitely as your skills and character power continue to grow. One of my favorite aspects of the monolith system was the autonomy to chart my course through the monolith based on the rewards I was after, the echo modifiers which can complicate things, or by simply quickly increasing the stability or corruption. These choices made the journey compelling for me and I think it will for you too. In addition to the Monolith of Fate system, there's also an endless wave of enemies arena with associated leaderboards, as well as three dungeons, which in my experience weren't as exciting as the other systems, but were still an enjoyable break from time to time, and one of which must be completed if you want to craft legendary gear. 
Speaking of gear, some pretty awesome systems help you deal with it all, the highlight of which was a phenomenal loot filter. If you play these games, you know that a lot of time can be spent managing loot, but Last Epoch gives you the ability to tune how much or little of that you're willing to do by providing the loot filter as well as ample stash space. Coupled with the loot filter is an awesome crafting system that provides another great balance between complexity and flexibility. Being able to find the gear you're looking for and tune it to your liking in a meaningful way with a bit of risk to go along with it was an enjoyable aspect of my playtime. The last thing I'll mention here is the faction system, which was another opportunity to make some meaningful choices based on the rewards I was after and or activities I was interested in doing. The longer the grind, the bigger and better the faction rewards get. Ultimately, this game was the epitome of flow state for me, where the challenge was continuously matching my evolving skills. That's what kept me engaged and satisfied the whole way through. I feel like there's a high degree of replayability with this game, even if you only ever play one character, but especially if you're going to play alts as well. In terms of longevity, you're definitely able to sink your teeth into Last Epoch and really put some hours in if you want to. But beyond that, the development team at 11th Hour Games has a great connection with the player base and a modern approach to development that quickly and iteratively incorporates player feedback into the game so that it's always improving. And that's why I think Last Epoch is here to stay. Moving on to how much time is required to enjoy the game, I found Last Epoch had great flexibility in playtime and session lengths. Sure, you can pop into the game for 10 to 15 minutes between household chores, or you can spam echoes in empowered monoliths to infinitely increase the corruption and rewards if you send the wife and kids away for the weekend. Either way, it's great news for casual gaming dads everywhere, as you can have your cake and eat it too with this game. It is a grind to get to max level and to significantly increase corruption if that's the game you're after. That will take time, which you can cover in lots of shorter gaming sessions, which is also totally fine, but just be ready for it. Considering all of those factors, where does Last Epoch fit on the matrix of flexibility versus complexity? Flexibility refers to how easily a game accommodates different playstyles, skill levels, and time commitments. And for Last Epoch, I score the flexibility a 4 out of 5. Complexity pertains to the depth and intricacy of the game's mechanics, systems, and challenges. And for complexity, I also score Last Epoch a 4 out of 5. And as the first game I'm officially reviewing, it's tough to compare for now, but I definitely think you should play Last Epoch. Thanks so much for watching. If you're still here and you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews from a casual gaming dad perspective.